one of the major problems of current android phones is that they come with some apps that cannot be uninstalled these apps can only be disabled and this is a major inconvenience and a nuisance and is counted as bloatware so in this video tutorial i'll show you how to uninstall any app that you want from the android device and save space enable battery saving and fasten up the device The first step is to download an application from Play Store called App Inspector. Just open Play Store and install it into the Android device that you want to uninstall the app from. This particular app gives all information regarding the particular Android app that you want to uninstall. Namely, we have to find out the package name of the app that we have to that we want to uninstall. So, App Inspector gives us the package name as well as loads of other information on the application once app inspector is installed into the android device it can be opened and we can see uh, the list of all apps that have been installed on the particular android device now coming over to the next step it is to locate the particular app that we want to remove from the android device here as in the example i'll be using youtube as a demo and uh, in the app inspector you can see the package name of youtube com.google.android.youtube so we have to note it down somewhere so that the process can be completed Now after this is done, we will have to enable USB debugging on the Android device. For that you will have to go into the settings of the device, then choose system settings and here you will have to go into about device. And now comes the step 3 where you will have to activate developer mode settings in the particular device. For this you will have to locate build number which is located above kernel version and tap it for approximately 7 to 8 times until you get a message saying that you are a developer now then developer options will appear in system settings and you will have to turn it on then scroll down and find usb debugging and enable it it will be disabled by default and you will have to enable it now coming over to the step 5 uh, you have to download the package that I have attached in the description of video and uh, keep this into a computer that you are planning to use for the purpose. Package that have been given in the description has to be downloaded and it has to be extracted into the computer. So here I am using 7zip for extracting the particular folder. Let's connect the Android device to the computer using USB cable. After connecting the USB cable, make sure that the Android device is connected as a media device and not just for charging. Also enable USB debugging if it's disabled by default. You should be able to find the contents in your Android device directly from the computer in an openable like manner. Now moving over to step 6, open the extracted folder. Now Click on the search bar on top and type cmd or command. Press enter and it will open command prompt. Here you have to give in the command adb devices to see all the devices that are connected to the computer. You have to open the android device and then uh, give acceptance for adb usb connection by debugging mode. Once that is done, uh, the device will show us uh, attached. Now I'll just go over to play store search for YouTube app and um, this will confirm whether the app is installed in the Android device or not. As you can see the app has been completely uninstalled and that's the reason why it's giving an option to install YouTube app. Similarly you can use this procedure for uninstalling any app that you don't want on your phone and make your phone completely bloat free, save up your internal memory, 
increase performance and uh, increase battery saving on your device if you like this video please uh, hit the like button subscribe to my channel and keep me motivated for further videos like this if you have any doubts or comments use the comment section below and mention them so that i can learn from my mistakes so thanks for watching bye